UK Prime Minister on Nadim Zahawi. And if you remember, he's asked his ethics advisor to look into whether or not Nadim Zahawi broke the ministerial code uh, in relation to his tax affairs. He's put out a statement where he says it's clear that there has been a serious breach of the ministerial code. He says, as a result, I've informed you of my decision to remove you from your position in government. So that there uh, is a letter from the Prime Minister to Nadim Zahawi uh, saying that he has been re removing him from government. So he's effectively been sacked uh, from the government uh, because it is clear to the Prime Minister that there has been a breach of the ministerial uh, code. I'm going to bring you the full letters just as soon as I can. Uh, but Bridget Phillipson, what's your immediate reaction to that? Well, it's not clear to me what the Prime Minister has been waiting for. It's been as plain as day for weeks now that this was going to be the outcome. But because of Rishi Sunak's weakness, his weakness within his own party, and his failure to put the country first as a result, it's taken a very long time to get here. It's just a shame it's taken him so long that our country continues to be sucked into this mire of sleaze that the Conservatives are delivering for us. And, you know, when Rishi Sunak first became Prime Minister, he promised us uh, integrity and accountability. I think we're a very, very long way away from that. Uh, just to bring you a bit more details from the full letter uh, that we have now uh, got, this letter uh, from the Prime Minister to Nadim Zahawi dated today. He says, when I became Prime Minister last year, I pledged that the government I lead would have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. That is why, following new information which came to light in recent days regarding your personal financial arrangements and declarations, I asked the Laurie Magnus, the independent advisor on ministers' interests, to fully investigate this matter. You agreed and undertook to cooperate fully with the inquiry. Following the completion of the independent advisor's investigation, the findings of which he has shared with us both, it is clear that there has been a serious breach of the ministerial code as a result, I've informed you of my decision to remove you from your position in His Majesty's government. He goes on to say uh, that Nadim Zahawi should be extremely proud of his achievements over the five years, uh, referencing the vaccine procurement uh, programme uh, in particular, uh, and the fact that he is a Kurdish-born Iraqi uh, refugee. Uh, that's something which people up and down this country have rightly valued, uh, Rishi Sunak says uh, in this letter. But just to sum, summarise, it is clear uh, this morning uh, that the investigation has completed uh, into Nadim Zahawi. The findings have been shared with both the Prime Minister and the Nadim Zahawi himself. And as a result, the uh, Rishi, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, says it's clear there has been a serious breach of the ministerial code. And as a result, he has been sacked uh, from the uh, government. Uh, let's uh, go back, uh, shall we, to uh, Bridget Phillipson. And you say that it's taken uh, the Prime Minister a long time to reach this conclusion. Has it? The um, investigation was uh, was finalised pretty quickly and as soon as the results came in, he's gone. He didn't need the advisor to tell him this. Uh, and it's just not clear to me why it's taken so long. Uh, but the sad truth is N Nadim Zahawi is one of a number of cases that we've seen uh, in recent months in the Conservative Party. So I also look forward to the Prime Minister taking action against Dominic Raab. And I also look forward to the Prime Minister taking action against Suella Bravman, who herself was found to have broken the ministerial code rather than Zachary invited her back into government. I mean, it is just a joke. For the Prime Minister to suggest that somehow this is a government that has got integrity and accountability at its heart. They are riven with sleaze. They're just fighting it out constantly amongst themselves. And it's the British people who suffer as a result because it's all about the Conservative Party and it's not about what's right for our country. We face really big challenges right now. But when you've got this constant infighting and when you've got a Prime Minister that is so weak, he can't stand up for, uh, for what's right and he uh, kind of outsources that judgment to others. I think it tells you everything you need to know about really why it is time for a change in Britain. Now you say he's weak, but he has just sacked Nadim uh, Zahawi uh, this morning after getting the uh, evidence uh, through. I guess those people... Choice. I mean, he, he really had... <laughs> Oh, he had no choice but to sack him, but he should have sacked him weeks ago. I mean, it was always going to end in this way. Um, so, you know, why on earth aren't we also seeing action on Suella Braverman and Dominic Raab and, you know, all the scandal that continues to envelop Boris Johnson? This is not just one bad apple. Uh, this is right at the heart of the Conservative Party, and it speaks to the Prime Minister's weakness and, and his weak position within his own party, that as a result, he can't put the country first.